All right, so we are watching a gold four lobby of a DPS. They're gonna be playing Ash. They're gonna be playing Soldier 76. They're gonna be playing Bastion. And let me explain what this game is. This is the longest game I ever played in comp. It started on a roller coaster. We barely managed to stop the cart from moving in the first round. I kept dying to the junk rat. I really thought he just went after me. In the second round, I switched to Bastion and then the game started. The first team fight was so long that their Reinhardt ulted three times. And so, so was each team's fight on each point. I was just shocked of how many ults could the, the Rhine could do in one team fight. But in the end, we managed to move the cart all the way. On the third round, we were attacking and didn't do much. So we decided to spawn camp them on defense, which is a viable strategy on Havana. The game went so long that each tank slash DPS had at least over 20,000 damage and over 30,000 healing. One of the enemy supports had 37,000 healing, which is, was mind-blowing. I won't spoil the end, but it was fair to say that this game is the craziest game I ever played, and it was indeed something. I think I did okay, but I, lo I love to hear any feedback on how to improve and climb the ranks. Anyways, enjoy the game, and here are the stats at the end, which I'll look after. They're not wrong. Everybody is over 20,000 damage, and a lot have 37 or 30,000 healing. The, the, the Life Weaver had 37,000 healing. Okay, let's see what happens. Tough start. You know what? That's the fun part about Ash. You miss every shot, it's okay, you got your dynamite. And then you get one shot by a Junkrat who just flanked you. Yeah, so you said you thought the Junkrat was just going for you. I'm going to be honest with you, you tunnel vision so hard that you lost track of where the Junkrat was. Wow, you were on Ash for a while there. That was quick. You're like, nope, I'm good. See you later. Well, that was a pleasant start, was it not? Yeah, on the first point there, you tunnel vision. On the second point, I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm okay with you running the point. Listen, sometimes when you play Soldier, you sprint and you get five. Sometimes when you play Soldier, you sprint and go back to spawn five times, right? That's the fun part about Soldier. I will say your positioning is a little bit aggro here. It is working. As long as you're, you're committed to sprinting away during this team fight, I'm okay with that. I don't mind when you play aggressive as soldier. Did Moira just ult? What were they trying to do? Oh, I see. They wanted to ult just to ult for fun. What in the world? I'll try to repay the favor. Oh, the ult charge flex? Yeah. Every time I have a bad ult, that's why. For now on, that's what I'm going to go with. I was just flexing my ult. I had it quickly. I built I built my my, my Widow Walls in four minutes. No big deal. What? In, okay, you need to get out of here. Listen, you said you think the Junkrat is going for you. Of course the Junkrat's going to go for you if you're going to position like that on the map. You got to, like I said, I like when you play aggressive, but you have to be willing to back away. You know what I'm saying? I, I play Soldier 76 like that sometimes, but you need to be willing to... The moment they even look at you, sprint. Sprint away. And then go get a different spot. That is how you can dominate a Soldier 76. If you just stand there, that's what happens. Alright, here we go. Once again... You said the Junkrat is going for you. You are running into the Junkrat. You're like, hello, Junkrat. Could you throw two mines at me, please, so I can go back to spawn with my team? I really like the scenic route. Actually, is a nice route back from spawn here. We got, the, we got what, the palm trees, the, the, the city in the background. It's, it looks nice. I just want you to look at where you're at. And I, this is great that you're going to get this, these limbs here. But... Just, you can see why they're able to get you. 
Chat, listen, it's the Boston accent, okay? I'm from Massachusetts. Sometimes we have the accent. I don't have, like, a thick accent, but sometimes we have it, okay? <clears throat> you said he has aimbot. How is he missing? Okay, first of all, I'm going to pause for one second. Anybody here in the chat who plays Soldier 76 knows that even when you have aimbot, half the time you don't do anything with it. You will shoot walls. You will shoot the ground. You will shoot life weaver pedals because you just hold left click. And sometimes you miss everything because nobody is there to shoot or they're hiding behind a wall. That is Soldier 76 Ultimate. You know what that ult is good for? Either a team wipe or a good way to check whoever's kill cam has the ult charge because you're going to get rolled. On Reaper now. Oh, we got a game! Let's go! So the Reaper swap's interesting here because you went from playing Soldier 76 and running that them to going Reaper and now running that them. But this won't change the Junkrat from going for you. Like, it's not going to change the Junkrat's playstyle of going for you because you're already wasting your cooldowns as you go in. We'll see how it goes. And you're going back to spawn again. Okay, now on to Ash, going through the whole hero rotation. I will say, I like the Ash pick for you because when you were playing Soldier, you kept running out of Junkrat and getting rolled. Then you played Reaper, which is the same playstyle, and got rolled. So I think Ash can help you play a little bit further back and go for her limbs on them. So are they playing Mystery Heroes? Kinda. Oh, the Junkrat again! Oh, the Life Weaver saved them. They were going off the map. Oh no! Oh no! Oh heck yeah, uh, tired fella. That'll be awesome. He has an awesome birthday. Okay, never mind. Like, your positioning right there, I'm surprised they didn't get you right away. Oh, you're so close to Bob. This Bob could win you to a team fight, but you're in the middle of the open. Don't peek the soldier. Get your Bob. Your Bob's the only way you can bring your team back into this. The dynamite. Where's Bob? Bob. Bob. What about Bob? Oh. Damn. All right, Bastion. So Bastion is by far one of the strongest DPS heroes right now. On this map, okay. But, like, they're not running, like, a heavy sniper cop, so you should be fine. And Joe, thanks for 200 bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. What rank? This is a gold. And we are in queue right now, too. We just won our, our game. Here we go. Here we go. All right, break that shield. Make that Ryan have no shield the whole time. Oh, I can see. See the junk rats distracting you. The Junkrat has been going for you the whole game. You've now decided, but the thing was is the Junkrat wasn't going for you the whole game. You were accidentally going to the Junkrat. Big slam! But the tree was such a good timing. In a turret form you go. Shred the Rhine! Shred the Junkrat now! No, shred the Rhine! Junkrat tire! Oh, Rhine! Oh, no! Okay. You have ult in 7%. Now, will you Venn Diagram that ult? Will it be a good ult? We're about to find out. What in the Overwatch is going on right now? That soldier was so committed to going for you, they were not stopping. All right, just ult. Just at this point, join the ult domino. Just join the ult domino. Just ult in. Just do it. At this point, why not? Just go for it. Yeah, there you go. Now you're junk rat. Oh yeah. Just go for it. Seriously, ult. 
Okay, I want to point something out. You've heard that Junkrat Tire twice now to your one ult. Just to point this out. You just heard Tire again. Oh, the Mercy! They're so low, but they're not! You're telling me that you saved your your Bastion ult for a good three minutes to do that. Now listen, I don't expect to get in the limb with Bastion ult either, but you spent three minutes for that masterpiece of an ultimate that we just witnessed. This really has been like a constant team fight. This has been a four minute team fight on the card. I think Life Weaver. Oh, we got a forest. Oh, no, no. It's been a constant team fight on the card. I think both Life Weavers have had like 20 trees. Big slam. Nice right click, good job. You said you hate how easily the bash and melts the tree. Honestly, I'm okay with it, mainly because most people don't shoot the tree anyway. So, at, le at least at some point, somebody on the team is doing something about it. Not bad. <laughs> All right, chat. Guess what we got here? It is Bastion alt time again. Are we ready? Is it time? This time it won't be five minutes for that Bastion alt. It's going to be right now. Here we go. Go. Bastion alt, go. Bastion alt. Okay, turret form. This is fine. Good play. Okay, Bastion out! Bastion out! Oh, it's time. This is it. This is the out. I'm ready. I'm ready. I where in the what in the out was that? Honestly, I'm just happy you used it. I'm just happy you used it. Honestly. I, you know what? That's a step in the right direction. It was used quickly. Honestly, I'm just glad the Bastion's using turret form because we had a game where we watched a Bastion who used turret form every two and a half minutes like it was like an ultimate. So this is a good step. Also, don't be afraid to shoot the pedal. I I'm serious. I think a lot of people don't shoot the pedal enough. When the Life Weaver will sit up there and be like, well, you'll be like, heck, I can't do anything about against that Life Weaver. Meanwhile, the pet they're just on top of the pedal that you can shoot. Meanwhile, I don't shoot the Life Weaver pedal. This is like a constant, like, just 10 minute team fight. Is it not? That's what it feels like, right? Chat, guess what we got? We got a bash. No, okay, much quicker now. Improvement, you're using it quicker. Here we go. Try to, like, make it. Okay, when you. I think they life we were pulled. I actually, you know what? I actually think that was a good ult. I think they life we were pulled. Chat, I, I I didn't see it, but I think they life we were pulled. I'm, I'm not even kidding you, because I actually think that should have done at least a little bit of like splash damage. I want to look at that right now. I think they I think they life we were pulled. Ha! 
Nope, I was wrong. Yeah, no, you, that was, no, not a good ult. Not even close. Yeah, but what I was going to say is try to ult where you think they're going to go. Not just ult like a, like a Venn diagram ult. We've talked about it before. Oh, Life Weaver Tree. All right, you ready for another Life Weaver Tree in about two seconds? Oh, we got a Reaper ult. And it is time for a big slam. Nope. All right, on paper here, the other team should win this. Oh, wow, your Reaper ulted. I was like, excited to see where your Reaper ult was going to go. Well, your Reaper ult just went somewhere. I don't know where. Why is the other team losing team fights? Because it's been like a 45 minute team fight. Eventually, there's going to be something that happens. Wait, a result. A result. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big slam. We got an ult domino. Hit the ults. I love how the Life Weaver pulled the Arista so they could just save him. Oh, you don't give this Bastion an ultimate. You don't give this Bastion another ultimate. It's ult time. Let's go. Use that ult. See? Just like that, the Venn Diagram ult worked. Okay, what is happening right now on this team fight? How is this still happening? Why is the... Oh, but they have Reaper ult. What can your team do about this? Oh no, speaking of Reaper ult on your team, they didn't get it. But guess what? You got Life Weaver tree! There it is! That tree was literally perfect. That was a perfect tree. Huge! That, yeah, I love the classic. Use your Orisa ult, get four in it, and then use it immediately. There's another life we retreat. Oh, we got a bash it all again. Oh, is that a Reaper? I did. Oh, here we go. We got a Reaper all. No shift. Oh, no. What in the world was this? What? That was like the longest team fight we've ever seen across the board. What in the world was any of that? Can your team win? Let's find out. It's Bastion time. In this game, for anybody who just joined us, uh, apparently everybody has over 20,000 damage and most of the supports have 30,000 plus damage and the Life Weaver on the other team has 37,000 healing. It's okay, we're back to the spot where there was like a 10 minute team fight. What rank is this? Gold. a long team fight. Their run has Shatter, by the way, in two seconds. There's a big slam waiting to happen on Karn right now. Wait, didn't get a, didn't get a hammer swing. Oh, the Javelin. It's almost big slam time. No one on either team has gone down right now. Big slam! But the Orisa blocked the, the follow-up. Oh, there's a forest on the point, but wait, they got the tree! And now there's gonna be an ult happening. You're so close to your bash and ult. Oh, it's time! It's time! Oh, we got a Reaper ult behind that no one's reacting to. Oh, the Bastion ult. It's almost time. I don't know what's going on. It's just, it's just a 20 minute. What? Can your team hold the rest of this game to win? I, by the way, I do like this hold. I actually like this hold. I think this plays a little bit better into what you want to do, but you need to get an early limb here. Otherwise, oh, you're getting an limb. Nice job. You get two. Nice! Woo! Wait a second! 
Okay, good start. So much happening on point. The Life Weaver tree. I love the Life Weaver tree in the carts. The thing is, chat, is the other team is stacking ultimates, but one thing that's going well for the uh, for the, the Bastion. Oh, oh, we got a Bastion. Oh, better watch out for whatever this is about to be. That somehow got someone. Yep. Is they, they have they have enough also where they can stop their ultimates, especially if this sim wall is perfect. Oh, the Ryan doesn't know what to do now. You're, you're playing a good distance. Your teammate saves you with life grip, and guess what? You have Arissa ult. You're about to have Simwall, and all their ultimates can be countered by Simwall. Can you win this game? This has been a back and forth just battle. This has been a battle. Does the tree stop the car from moving? No. Oh, no, the RKO! Let's go. I know that didn't get anybody, but I love the Simwall here. And they overuse their ultimates. Your team has a chance now to build up ults. Here comes the shatter. It's a big slam. But but your team gets the Reaper and there's no follow-up. But now you've lost your sim. It's now a 4v4, but you're about to have Moyer ultimate and Bastion ultimate. If that Moyer, and you're gonna have tree! Spam your ults! It's, it's ultimate time! That's one! That's two! Fashion all cart! Just do it! Ready? Come on! They're gonna spawn up! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Next time, the reason why you want to bash and ult the cart is so it gives your teammates cover. So next time, in like that situation, just ult. You'll be fine if they overextend to you. You, just, you were in a good spot to ult that. But still, that was, that was, I'm going to be honest with you. That was one of the best gold games we have watched thus far. That was such a fun watch. Holy crap. Listen, you may not have won that game, but that was a great game to watch. What a game. Uh, definitely be a little bit more uh, aggressive, I'd say, with your ultimate there. Uh, I think that's one bit of advice I have. Also, when you're playing Soldier, I like when you were going on the off angles and making plays like that. I really did, but like, make sure to start sprinting away. The moment they look at you, just sprint. Go somewhere else. You, you, that mobility can get you in different spots and... Don't try to 1v1 a junk rat and then think the junk rat's just going for you. You were just going towards the junk rat. It's an easy limb. Chat, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. We watch uh, all these on stream. We stream it. We stream a ton. If you want to come by and, and watch the stream, make sure to follow it. So, all the stream. Um, sub to all the YouTubes, all three of them. We have a lot of awesome videos. You want to send in your own spectating game? Description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where you do it. Hit the like button. I already forgot what we said to do in all of this outro. So, that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night.